had it but could not hang on, and he is shaken up at the Jets' 42-yard line. A torn ACL and dislocated hip. Injuries that ended K.J. Hamler's season and took him to an all-time low. So K.J. Hamler has to be helped off the field. But about three months after that week three injury, things got far darker for the Broncos wide receiver when his grandma passed away from Parkinson's disease. And yeah, my grandmother was my mother, so like, I took her to get her hair done, you know, took her to get food all the time. Like every time I came home, I seen her first. You know what I mean? I called her every Monday. And so when I missed that call on that Monday, and then we got the call on Saturday. So you know what I mean? Like I, it's, it's a lot of regret in my heart from that. Regret and absolute devastation. KJ admitting that he wasn't sure he wanted to go on. And I'm just be honest with y'all because I'm more vulnerable and, you know, more confident in myself about saying it. But um, at one point, I didn't want to be here. Like, I didn't want to be in this world. You know, I, it was one point I just didn't want to be on earth no more, you know, because I lost my, my granny and that really hurt me. But the memory of her also helped Hamler. KJ knew his grandma wouldn't want him to give up. I think that's the reason, you know, I'm still here. You know, like, I had to think about that. I had to think about all the people I let down. And, um, you know, my mom, my dad, my family, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, but it, it was just, that was the lowest point of my life. But KJ's better now. He still has regret and still has sorrow. However, Hamler's love for the game has returned. And with his recovery from injuries going well, KJ was finally back on the field today, back with his football family.